Hey guys, it's Darren. Uh, today we're going to be placing the cabin air filter on an F-150. This particular vehicle is a 2015. Uh, however, it works for 2016, 17, 18 till current. Um, so here's uh, the part number we're going to be using from Motocraft. The procedure is pretty simple. Um, not a lot of tools needed, just a 7mm socket. I'm going to be using my little power wrench here. Um, but you could just use a regular ratchet and, and, and socket combo. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is open up the box and you're going to take this liner and get your fingers under it and remove it. Once we do that, you're going to see uh, we've got a little access to a couple bolts. These uh, two inner bolts don't need to be removed, but the two outer ones do. Basically what we're doing here is we're going to be removing the top upper portion of the uh, glove box. We're not going to be lowering the glove box itself. If you want to lower it, you can. Uh, I might show you how to do that just to make it simple to gain a little bit more okay, access. So let's start removing our bolts. Once we've got them removed, what you want to do is you just want to take this and it pops out. There's a couple of retainers on the sides that hold them in. But once we got it pulled out, you'll see those retaining pins, they're metal. Um, and then you're going to have a connection right here for your glove box sensor open indicator thing. Just go and get that connector out. And there you see. Now if you look inside here, uh, this is the cover for the cabin air filter. If you want to remove the lower portion to gain a little bit more access, all you do is you take and you fold it in on the sides. And on this side too, pushing this tab, and by doing that, you'll see that start to move. And all you do is connect, connect it. And to get to our uh, filter, all you're going to want to do is take the side here and push out, um, and that should free up this door. And as you can see, there is our filter. So the next thing we're going to do is remove it. And it's actually not too bad definitely have seen dirtier before. Let's go ahead and compare it to the new one. And as you can see that is a comparison. So let's go ahead and throw this one out. Get the new one in. Squeeze it in there. That's pretty good. Now I guess all we got left to do is reverse procedure. Um, let's work on getting our tabs back in and there it is make sure it's on good good and tight next thing it's gonna be putting our glove box back together get that tab back on all we do is get it back into its hole and slide it in and from there as you can see the glove box closes all the lines match up that's good now we're going to need to take our upper portion and bolt it and snap it back into uh, the glove box area there. And once you got that piece in, that's pretty much the last step. What I recommend doing now is turning on your blower, make sure you have good airflow. Um, most likely you will if your filter is pretty bad. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.